Hey, family, Reverend Russ, uh, back again with another five minute pivot uh, or less. Uh, super excited in this season. My wife and I have been uh, blessed to uh, get ready uh, and prepare uh, to welcome a uh, new uh, member to our family. Uh, we're super excited about that. Uh, but as we were uh, preparing and as we're getting prepared and as we're getting blessed by other people who know uh, that we're welcoming a new addition to our family, they're blessing us uh, with uh, things that we're going to need. Uh, it made me remember about uh, several years ago when uh, our daughter came in uh, to the world and uh, we had a room prepared and we're doing the same uh, for this uh, child. We're getting things prepared for them before uh, they even show up. Uh, and as uh, we get ready, I know it's not yet, but as we get ready for this year to come to an end, as it gets closer, come to an end, uh, the question is, what are you preparing for next year? Uh, how are you getting yourself ready? How are you getting your life ready? How are you getting your relationships ready? How are you getting your finances ready? How are you getting your faith ready? Uh, so that you can be prepared for all that God is going to birth, all that God is going to do, all that God is going to allow you to have a part of in this year coming. I think uh, there's some level of preparation that we all need to take, whether uh, it's it's allowing ourselves to let go of friends and invite new friends in. It's allowing ourselves to let go of habits and invite new habits in. It's allowing ourselves uh, to learn new things and unlearn some bad things. But the truth is that all of us, the same way uh, my family is getting ready to uh, celebrate uh, this uh, new addition to our family. I believe uh, that God is looking to do new things in your life. I believe that God is calling to do new things in our lives and you have to be ready, but not just ready. You have to be prepared. So my encouragement in this five minute pivot uh, is for you to think about the ways in which you can be prepared for what's coming next. How are you preparing your life? How are you preparing your mind? How are you preparing your surroundings? How are you being prepared for what God is going to do next? Hopefully you uh, take some notes. Hopefully you think through this in the next couple of moments, the next couple of weeks before uh, we jump into this new year. And we don't know what's going to happen. My wife and I didn't know this year was going to be the way it was, but we're uh, thankful for all that God has done, all that God has prepared. Uh, but we're thankful for the opportunity to prepare for what's next. So prayerfully, you take that opportunity today. Prayerfully, uh, you are preparing in some ways that will help you uh, to move forward in all that God is doing and all that God will do in your life. Don't forget uh, that this is your season of opportunity. You just have to prepare for it and get ready for it. Don't forget to follow me on all of our social media assets, follow Ministry Pivot, follow Reverend Russ, uh, but also don't forget to go on ministrypivot.com uh, and watch and look at our other podcasts and all of our articles uh, and, and information that we have there. And of course, don't forget to reach out to me uh, if you want to talk about anything that is helpful uh, to you moving forward in coaching and in consulting, but looking forward uh, to seeing you as we move forward in this season, our season of opportunity. God bless.